Next up, it's uh, women's singles action for us. Wang Xian against Pai Xiaoma. China against Chinese Taipei. how things look in the draw the winner taking on Ariko Hirose of Japan the number 11 seed or pitcher Hidechova from Bulgaria Wang Xian with a bye after the first round Pai coming through in her first round clash well, we've enjoyed some uh, Chinese success already and uh, they're expecting some more here in the shape of the number seven seat, former world number one, Wang Xian. Whose bag is that? Come on, is that my, I'm having that, no, give it to me. I'm in charge, she said. He seeded in the end. And it's good to see, uh, it has been really well attended for the early rounds, I mean, we uh, recently, Steam, were in the uh, Cinnamon Cup in Malaysia and it was pretty sparse in terms of lots of empty seats in the stadium. And uh, it's nice, and the atmosphere at times very flat, nice to see all times of the day so many people here at the uh, Tianhe Gymnasium. Especially where we were playing, we started here at 10 o'clock in the morning and, and we're playing until 10 o'clock in the evening, so it's a really long day for some spectators it's more packed schedule five hours of excellent play for Chinese Gymnasium yeah, great to see some youngsters about as well it's a, a huge popular sport. And if I'm right, saying Guangzhou is the kind of epicenter, isn't it, of badminton? In terms of uh, this is where badminton first was played in China, I understand. And Possibly, I yeah. wasn't aware yeah, of that. Yeah, no, apparently so. And uh, I mean, the statistics for how many people play badminton in Guangzhou is uh, quite incredible, really. Yeah, I read something that yeah. 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 on a regular basis, twice a week. That's amazing. Players now uh, arriving on court. High ahead of Wang. Well, they've lost one of their four. Zhang uh, withdrew yesterday with an injury. Really sad for her. I think uh, the apparent story with her now is that uh, I think she's going to play in the national tournament they have, and I think that's it for her. She's going to pull the points, apparently. She's had so many injury problems over the years. So down to three moving singles players for China. had a, a, an up and down time of things hasn't she I mean she must have been absolutely gutted to have not been selected for the Olympics in London in 2012 yeah she was uh, number three but, uh, China had the choice of uh, selecting because they had number one two three and four in the, the women's single floor ranking and they could select any three of these players to go to the Olympics and They have met twice before. This was the last one, last year's badminton match. And you can see in the first set 24 22. 
coming through comfortably in the second. It was the very same story in their other encounter at the Malaysia Open, 24, 22, 21, 11. Playing style of Wong Shishan is just extremely good. She's just in good shape. She's ready to play long matches. So as an opponent, it's, it's very easy to be disheartened if you have a chance to win the first game and you lose it because then <laughs> you still have two games left to win and you're probably uh, quite tired already. from the Chinese Taipei is ranked 21 in the world. Chinese Taipei. On my right, Wang Shishan, China. Wang Shishan, serve, level, play. Ryan Wojcik Osowski of Poland getting us uh, underway for this uh, women's singles. Second round clash, long from Pai. First point goes one to one. Plus. We should mention that they are selected instead of Shishan was being sure of it. Actually, we're going to win the gold medal. 2012. Sam's over, one all. Some justification. I don't know. It could have been that Wang uh, Shishan also would have won the gold medal. Well, the, the thinking behind it was that they their uh, performances two, against foreign one. shuttlers wasn't as good as her compatriots. Yeah, and, and um, I must say that I, uh, I agree. As, uh, as a coach, I would have done exactly the same. It's just a little harsh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you, the ranking is based over the period of Olympic selection and you're yeah, there ahead of someone oh. as of right in some respect but yeah and th th that's the way the ranking is composed I mean uh, the ranking is a picture of how you fared during the last 12 months and the first six months of that period Shan did very well and then the issue sort of well, she kept winning 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 didn't she caught up with her yeah she won all the time she played so and there was three, it hasn't two. really been electric really since the Olympics for when she's in has it really I mean she has won one tournament the Swiss Open in March but that's one title in what 18 months yeah, it's also I think part of it is that uh, the Shuguri is uh, able to adapt to different kind of playing styles The future for her, she needs to improve, she needs to raise her game to a whole new level to be number one in China or even number two in China again. So um, she, should other, uh, she should either go uh, all in or uh, otherwise she'll be probably also thinking of uh, China. She's only 23. Competition is fierce, isn't it? Always looking over your shoulder who's coming through. She may have been world number one a couple of years ago, but quickly become yesterday's news, can't you? You gotta 
don't once respect my the dedication and on the other hand you feel where's your downtime because you need that sometimes as well don't you time start to this uh, match similar to respect to what we saw between uh, Jin Long and Tracy Zaki good winner here for Mark actually we have um, we've seen the Chinese players come to court here for the first or second appearance in, in the hall facing good position they have started out a little bit slow but as the game match progresses they've got more and more into the usual playing style Sindhu, I think one earlier today. It's actually still playing on, on the outer courts. Oh yeah, it's gone to three games, you're right. <laughs> Maybe not. The young Indian stars. Seven five. shown hasn't she that you know you can face adversity you can come back stronger you know, she was dropped out of the uh the cup side and she was world number one came back and got back to world number one again i think that's the kind of example that she then has to follow isn't it She obviously got there to world number one, though. She's yeah. The, the problem about being number one and why it's so difficult to to remain number one is that all the other players in the world are looking at you, saying, "How is Wang Shishan doing? What do we need to do to her?" So you sort of develop all the other players because you set um, the goals for their training. That is to be you. So if you have to remain number one for a very long time, you have to be a little bit ahead of them. And um, the players that uh, were well, the pairings that manages to do so, that's really, really admirable. And there's a pressure on you and expectation as well when you're number one. Yeah. A lot of good winners here. Ten, ten, six. She already looks animated as we know her, shouting, uh, showing that she's ready for this tournament. But, uh, she makes a She looks up to the lights a couple of times, but that shuttle wasn't high. <laughs> it was a pretty flat drive she had coming back to her. Can't be me. <laughs> exactly. The lights have been blamed for many, many feet. Sticking 
Tai, the other ladies singers player from Taipei, they have a tough task to live up to as uh, their fellow singles player Chen Xiaoqi won the silver medal at the last match. Three points in it, but uh, once she's in here, looks uh, fairly comfortable, we have to say, in the early stages. shots. Not Ten, letting her get away, five. is she? I mean, it was 9 5, that's as big as the gap's been. Four points. Strange choice here trying at this cross net shot. Went well from the forehand side.
slow to come out and uh, mop the floor, but uh, again, it's kind of like got that feeling in the, uh, the Chen Long match against Shotozaki that you know here's a decent opponent who should be respected, but he just feels got no chance really of uh, of winning a game, never mind winning the match. Kind of a shame, really, in some respects, from a neutral <laughs> perspective. But uh, uh, credit to Wang in the way that she's uh, playing the game. She's but in all fairness, so yeah, 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 yeah. Not, well, not always right, but it. Uh, I would say we get it right more than wrong. It's hardly a brave call in this respect, is it? Really? Ah! But, uh, we were the Sense over, 16, the, uh, Surprising results. But there is only 12 places between them in the world rankings. It, actually, but 16, I, I, 7. it looked a good call to me. As I say, we're not on the ideal angle here, but it seemed a good call. Oh, having had a look at that again, you can see why one was uh, a little upset. Like it did from the replay, land on the line. to question. I think that maybe evens it up. Yeah, there was no doubt in my mind. We're not in a good position to see the line until we just want to say. Shit. Get a proper baseline camera on, but we haven't really been getting lots of those shots. Earlier stages here.
can't see a replay. I don't think Pai can see because Wang sort of kind of ran across the shuttle. And also the replays from the sideline cameras are, are not that good because the cameras are placed. Slight angle, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, slight angle, so it really isn't exposed to tell. Of course, uh, more important the line judge is right directly in the, the line. Oh, they do an excellent right. job. Brings the five game points. 20 game points, 15. Oh, some of that. Well, a couple of game points saved, but uh, it still does feel like it's prolonging the inevitable. There's only so many shocks you can have in a day, and seeing the number three seeds go out in the women's doubles maybe lessens the chances of more coming our way here on court one. game uh, twice 24 points to 22 and then ran away with the second table the 21 17 it does seem on paper that it was fairly close four points between them but really the goal seemed a bit bigger than that Like this, and it's comfortable, you know, you need to 
yourself up a little bit. Second game, double. Saw that yesterday when the in the mixed doubles win. Go. Shouting a little bit. Yeah, apparently she was car carrying a bit of an injury, which we didn't know about at the time. But uh, number five, she's going out of the mixed doubles. She hurt, but I, I, you know, after winning that first set 21 17, it wouldn't have surprised me if she won the second 21 12, 21 13. But the way things have begun. Five. 
Is it, is it, I mean, how, uh, the point of asking that is how necessary is it uh, these stoppage, yeah. stoppages in play? Yeah. Every time there's a little tiny speck of sweat or whatever it is. Seven, it's over. Seven, three. The thing is that if players are not roll, there's a lot of sweat that can be removed by just stepping on it with the, the shoes and, and sort of wiping it away. But if a player is struggling, then you suddenly need to have uh, a mop or in. I think personally that uh, Eight, three. the time between the rallies have been too long, especially in the men's doubles, where we can see sometimes it's a minute or two. That's an
Seven ten. Thirteen points here. Marshy's end, and uh, once again, it seems like it's a difficult lot uh, for Pi to stop. Oh. 
where she said together she knows exactly what she wants to be doing but
I know, but that doesn't have to be one of your strong points. You should still, you should still take those. Yeah. Ships are concerned. Thirteen more championships.
and Iraqi that thing for fine to wait there. Trying to give herself a time to catch a breath, I think. Yeah. saw that coming. 23-21. Bai Xiao Ma takes the second game. 
and the number seven C has to start all over again. Already approaching an hour on court, Steve. singles
to uh, stop the predictions. so far. Our moment's been 74 minutes.
match that I will not give up without a fight that's for sure I'm there not even bothering to apologize to her opponent so that little bit of uh, luck that went away but uh, I don't think there's any need to apologize anyway seems ah! Ah! Eight, nine. it's a little tight I mean from five zero you think okay aberration second set on you go and here again it's uh, shot quality is Seven C gonna now push on. So convinced. 
saying she won't win, but I'm saying I think she's going to necessarily do it comfortably. It's been the story of the match so far, anyway. slow this game down, hasn't she? Yeah, she, she wants to take the time. She's ready for rallies. 11 9 10. decisive move. Five point lead, five 
start of this game that disappeared. One hour, 21 minutes so far on court, these two. Judges. Thank you. 
gets it pretty comfortable after what was an uncomfortable end to game two for one. Match won by Wang Shishen, 21-17, 21-23, 21-11. earlier in the uh, third game did we Steen but uh, I think the big surprise was that we went to a third at all yeah it was and um, I must say that uh, Wang Shishen she was much better prepared for playing on the far side of the court than uh, in the second game we really had clear strategy and was rewarded for it there you go 21-11 to Wang Shishen in that third game which means the number seven seed is through Next up, it's men's singles. Lee Chong Wei against Dionysus Hayom Rumbaka. The number one seed, I have to say, got a bigger cheer coming out there than Lin Dan did when Lin Dan came out yesterday or the day before yesterday. They will almost kind of roll into one day, maybe, by this time of the championship. But it was a great reception for Lee Chong Wei, almost as if he was Chinese the way he was greeted. for the team right in this region he kind of calls it his, his second home and uh, says he's really treated 